We looked at NAC, so NAC is 8, and NAC is acquainted to creating a liquid using sodium and potassium, and the mixture needs to be 40, between 40 and 90% potassium. Now, a liquid is connected to a fluid, and a fluid is connected to, associated with a formless liquid a formless liquid yeah that's where the, the word uh, derives from so a formless liquid we would have to then look towards associating that with the formless which is going to be magnetism which is the seven ray serpent so let's have a look how we can create uh, magnetism using sodium watch the numbers or list n list n to the numbers sure that well controlled Thermometry. Thermometry. What, if it gets too hot, you're in trouble, or...? Sodium expands when it heats. Uh -huh. The vessel has a certain volume. Uh -huh. There's a temperature above which it's over full. And it's better not to be over full. <laughs> what temperature is that? Uh, I think it's around 130 degrees. Have you ever been See, close? No. No, because our thermometry is... We have thermometry and backup thermometry and backup to the backup thermometry. <laughs> Let's back up and explain what is this thing. This is a three meter sphere of molten sodium. That is 12.5 tons of hot liquid metal designed to spin at up to four revolutions per second. 3.95 And at that rate, the outer surface of the sphere is moving at over 130 kilometers an hour. That's over 80 miles per hour. And basically it's representing the Earth. What they're trying to do is find out how the Earth's magnetic field is generated. And some of the first scientists to study this, starting with William Gilbert in 1600, proposed that the Earth was a huge permanent magnet. Now today we know that the inner core of the Earth is solid and it's mostly made up of iron and nickel, which are ferromagnetic elements. However, the temperature of the inner core is nearly 6,000 Kelvin, which is way above their Curie temperatures, and so there is no way that they could maintain a permanent magnetic field. The same is true of the solid mantle of the Earth. Much of it is way too hot for permanent magnets, which leaves only the liquid metal outer core as the place where Earth's magnetic fields could be generated. And this is what is modeled by the three meter spinning sphere of molten sodium. It needs to be as large as practicable. It needs to be as high speed as practicable. And we use liquid sodium because it's the best electric conductor of any liquid. So it has the downsides of being hazardous and flammable, but <laughs> the failure would be modestly catastrophic. <laughs> That's kind of a weird twist of phrase, but it's modestly catastrophic. Yeah. Most buildings have sprinkler systems in case of fire but not this lab. To see why, take a look at a single drop of water falling on a single drop of molten sodium. Now multiply that by 12.5 tons and you have modestly catastrophic. But the researchers have thought about this and they have a plan. There is a liquid nitrogen doer that sits up top. So one of these mostly full, nitrogen. you could just hit a switch and dump the entire contents of liquid nitrogen on top of the experiment. So this is like a, a physicist super fire extinguisher then? You know, it's a backup plan. The plan is no leak, no fire. The backup plan, put the fire out with cryogenics. It actually works great. This is 300 degrees colder than the sodium. And so uh, sodium cannot burn in nitrogen gas atmosphere and the cold freezes it and the leak gets frozen and everything just chills. But when everything's working normally, how is a spinning sphere of liquid metal meant to generate a magnetic field? Well, for the Earth, the thinking goes like this. First, as the Earth radiates heat into space, its core cools. What I'm going to do is fold this a little bit because I want to hear the, hear the figures. Faster than they dissipate, so. contract magnetic fields. So it's curved linear. As they move and stretch, everything the field, is curved they linear. They create electric currents that produce more magnetic fields. If the magnetic fields are generated faster than they dissipate due to the resistance of the metal, well, then you have a self-sustaining electric generator or a dynamo. We talk about the dynamo generation of magnetic fields to mean when you have a turbulent conductor, let's say convecting like the core, that spontaneously generates a magnetic field. If you have a little bit of current that happens, it causes a little bit of magnetic field that couples into the motion, that causes more currents, causes more magnetic fields, that couples into the motion, and then you're just converting motion to currents. 
But it, it, goes on, of, it goes on stable. That's kind of counterintuitive, though, because you started out with no magnetic field, so how do you get the current in the first place? You know what I mean? Like, no, no, this, okay, all, you, all you need is a little infinitesimal amount. A thermal variation, a random current, will just grow to full size. So once something's unstable, actually, you don't really care where the, the tickle came from. The states we have now don't generate their own magnetic field, so we've not reached the dynamo threshold, although the hope is to do so in a modified version of the experiment. So we apply magnetic fields from the outside and then look at the amplification of those magnetic fields by the rotating turbulence. Flow and oh. So why is it important to understand the Earth's magnetic field? We know the Earth's magnetic field. So, so during that experiment, during that, he gives us some precise figures. And those, those, precise, those precise figures, yeah, uh, are, are here. I have them already written on the board, right? To create a, a spinning sphere of magnetism using sodium, yeah, you're looking at 12.5 tonnes of sodium. So there's our, there's our 12, there's our 66. There's our 66 sex, 360 degrees full ball field. Yeah, and then we're looking at four revs per second and a sphere, yeah, moving, moving, so forcing motion, yeah, 130 kilometers per hour, yeah. So you see, we see here, that number then denotes shape and form. So we're working with the fours here. We're working with the fours, yeah. And then obviously then we could double us up to the nine. So we're always going to see the four and the nine together. And this is going to give you spirit and matter. And then it, you, you, we can see that with the creation of the explosive energy. Yeah. Plasmatic explosive energy coming from the mixture of the sodium and the potassium together. Yeah. Potassium K, explosive energy, master number 11. Sodium. 11, 22.9, fours and nines, spirit and matter. So it's speaking to us. The language is being spoken to us without, without, without word. It's being spoken to us via movement through action, which is, which is phenomenal. So then moving forward, if I, if we then take, if I then go straight to this periodic table, now we did this before, a long while ago, we started with the, uh, the plasma we was looking at, um, the, the the CONH and we've been looking at alkali metals and so on and so forth um, for a good long while because of we're looking at the alkali metals that reside within because by looking at the metals that reside within yeah it's also it's also giving us a clear indication that all that is outside of us resides within so as within so without so what we have here is the oxygen nitrogen carbon and hydrogen yeah when we, what we're looking to do is to double these up. We double them up, we see her number is two. Her number is two and is four. The two and the four together is going to give us 24. Give us going to give us 20, 24 hours. That's going to give us 360 de degrees, which is full cycle, full spin, yeah, of her womb, yeah. So if I take one and double that up, we get two, yeah. The carbon, we'll double that up. That will give us 12. We do the same with the nitrogen, 14, yeah. We double that up. With this, the oxygen, we do the same again. 15.994 is basically six. When you take, when we double these up, they equate to 72. That then gives us our nine. So we know that the spirit, the, the spirit plasma version, yep, this is what, what it is. The version of hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, they create a, a spirit macabre that is surrounding us within our field that resides outside of visible light. We can use those elements, yep, those superior elements that reside in a far super, a more advanced superior state to awaken and raise our, our consciousness right now in the physical, yeah? And that's what's been, what is actually happening because the African swine flu and, and all of these, um, these fevers, what's been known to us now is, is, is that plasma absorbs them because they're packets of energy. This is what we're now able to work with. We're able to trap light. We're able to trap different tones of light. So we've got do, re, mi, so, fa. So the, 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 if you look at them as different tones, the higher the, the higher the pitch, the higher the pitch, the more energy it has. The lower the, the lower the do, the higher the, 
actually absorbs the lower doom. That's what's happening. And that is where we're heading to right now, which is phenomenal. You can actually take, if you have nothing but a glass, if you can get hold of an, uh, uh, an old um, hairdryer, if you can take the wires out of it, if you can get hold of a torch, you can nano coat there and then. You can actually nano coat yourself. Now, if I just go back to, um, back to this that we was reading yesterday, here. This, this book, through this book, you can create your own experiment using magnetism by using the, 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 the two different poles, the two different lights. Yeah, so the red and the blue, the red and the blue shift of magnetism, right? You can use them on seeds and on plants for yourself and you can see the, the way that the, the red energy, the red magnetism versus the blue magnetism, how it affects the plants. The blue magnetism helps the plants to grow drastically. This is how, how things work. So I just want to read this again because it, it is, um, it's, actually, it's actually key. Right. Through scientific method, magnetism has been shown to exist in two separate energy forms described as negative and positive, which are similar to negative and positive energy forms apparently existing in all biological systems on this earth. It is known that external energy forms of magnetism will affect the internal energy forms of biological systems. When programmed correctly, negative magnetism will arrest disease and infection and positive magnetism will, will strengthen life, right? That's, that's how it works. There is, there's, there is no getting around it. That is the, the be all and end all of it. So what I was going to say is I'm going to be writing a post on it. And what, what 5G will do is it will now show us, again, this, all these things are all mirror reflections. It will, it will show us that we need to take response, that we have to take responsibility, yeah, for our own vessel. Many of us taking, uh, you know, on the path of sovereignty are recognise that already. And that is going to be emphasised to us even more because any external incoming um, magnetism, yeah, that is being... Uh, altered, yeah, because it's basically been flipped and altered. That yeah, will have an effect upon your on the emotional body because you 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 are a voltage being. Your your metaphysical bodies are all based on voltage as well, yeah. And the, their oscillation can be disrupted by these external fields. But these fields, it looks like water, but you've seen the energy, the, the, the force that goes into it. The the um the plate that I have that's going at the moment is looking really really good, really really good, yeah. I'll take some pictures and put it up. I'll put it up in the, in the next video. You can see it. You'll be able to see there's a surface, like a, there's a, like a black surface coming. But the, it deceives you because it looks just like water. But the amount of energy that's required, which is what I've just been showing here now with the sodium, is absolutely phenomenal. It's phenomenal. That the amount of energy that goes into, to, into us climbing up into that elevator and going to the next floor. And that's what, what this is. So when we are, we are putting this, using something like copper, on, as fields on the skin, it's pulling the pain away. That's what the magnetism is doing. It's pulling it. It's pulling it out. Pulling it away. So that's the um, how, how that's working. Then we can use the same magnetism on plants, and it works with the chlorophyll. It goes straight to the mitochondria with the blue light energy, with that same blue magnetism. That's how um, that that operation is set to take place. Now, what I wanted to sh what I want to show is uh, another yet another experiment. If we look at this, this is, I'm always talking talk about blue elements and red elements, red shift and blue shift. Now this here, you can see live for yourself how it works with alkali metals. There is no sound. There's that alkali metals look. Pretty near to sodium hydroxide that one. The NA. There's your blue shift. So this is the life giving blue. It's going to be blue. It's going to be light. It's going to rise to the sky. Hydrogen, helium. These are blue elements. So the blue, the blue alkali metals are less dense than water. Now, water has a density of four degrees, yep, at the top and at the bottom. Four, there's a four, and water, what is water? Water is also four, yep. The 13th letter of the Hebrew alphabet is mem, which is water, so water has memory, yeah? And the water also has this dipole moment as well. The oxygen, 
you have a positive a negative with the oxygen nine a positive with the um, hydrogen six electronegativity the oxygen pulls in So here we see it on the blue paper. Okay. So here we go. So one acid turns blue litmus. Acid to acid turns blue litmus red, but has no effect on red litmus paper. Alkali turns red litmus blue. Alkali turns red litmus blue, but has no effect on blue litmus. So the alkali turns red litmus blue. See, so the and then the acid turns blue. The acid, the acid turns blue litmus red. Right. So if you see that, now what I what I then do is this is this. To continue that. Right. So it's all about action. So here now, what we'll see here. This here is now aged urine, so this, inside of this, yeah, is what I'm using to power up, right? This, this here, this is what I'm using to power up. Now, inside of that, inside of that, just contains light, yeah, plasma light, right? Because it, it, it's, it's just the fields, fields of, of the fruit, right? So we know, we know that, that is, this is being brought about by a sexual, a sexual interaction. Now, the, the purple is coming from your, the, you're looking at your antioxidants, your blueberries, your blueberries and all, of, and all of those. Yeah, there's mangoes in there and there's all, that, there's all that sort of stuff in there. This is a great binder because you see, if you use milled and you make sure that, and you make sure that your stuff is sprouted because of phytic acid redshift, which will stop you from absorbing these, these, these fields. Yeah, yeah. See, this is the, the two workings. So that redshift, that nine again, is, is looking to recycle that which, that which has not recognized nature in its superior aspect, which you, that doesn't have a triumphant nature because you've not been embarked upon a quest by asking questions and list any. So because we have not done that, that then therefore we wouldn't be able to to actually absorb the the actual fields the field strength that is available to us so here what you're seeing here is when i put aged urine into that mixture when i put aged urine into that mixture you will now see a blue shift element taking place there you go so every every time i put that aged urine in there every time i put that aged urine in Look at that. There's the blue element. So the aged urine, what's happening is, is it's showing its, its true essence, but only by mixing it with the, light, with, with, this, with the other light of the fruit light is the only way that that can actually take place. Yeah, which is that, that in itself is, um, is phenomenal. It's a phenomenal thing. It really, really is. Because that's, it, we're able to see how the, the, the two different sides of the two different polarities then are working and that's what you have here. So this is the actual plasma field. So then you've got 12 here. Inside of that 12 you have six at its core, at its core, yeah. So what's, what, what that will do is because everything is based upon fields, it will then look to eliminate anything to do with any, anything that, that, is, that is, um, has less energy will be absorbed by it. And in some cases, 
in actual fact, what they've found is with some of the, the, the viruses, like you have this, this virus that's going around now, is what, it, what the virus wants to do is it wants to absorb itself into the field. It wants to become a part of the fields. And that's what, what would happen with any external um, uh, ele electro-transverse wave that was coming in because this is aligned with her field, which is coming straight from that North Pole. So when you, when, when what, I showed, what we showed earlier, what we showed earlier is within 16 minutes, the disabled person was walking again and is back to life back to life and the reason the reason for that is because what they're doing is they're putting you back in the fetus position and what and then we they are taking taking and putting you back in it, it, this is putting you back in perfection it's putting the you back into the state that you were in when you first arrived here yeah so that is why they they call it a spaceship they say that they're going out into space that is when the, the, the people are saying that they're going this with this this heliocentric more of or more of a model, but space has no properties. But however, however, we are creating a, a scenario outside of the physical plane. That is what we are doing because outside, which they call it dark matter, is 96% plasma, which these are, these are fields, these are, nat you're talking about spirit. It is all spirits and doorways and portals um, to, to, to superior planes. So by bringing that in, when people go into that capsule and they sit in that fetus, fetus position, this is this field that you can see here. You're probably looking at the. You're looking at probably a hundred of these. Yeah, is is on that person. A hundred of them. You got a hundred of them on that person, and then it's like this one here. This helmet. The helmet is. You've got the the magnetic gravitation. The fields, dielectric fields, pulling and pushing, pulling and pushing, and pulling and pushing on your ninety six here, and the electromagnetic peak. When that person comes out of this machine and goes and grounds onto the floor, they goes and grounds onto the floor. Then what happens is. Is that there's, there's, there are pressures that take place, take place within the body, they ground to the they ground to the floor, and it also starts to release other other the other fields, other fields become released, um, and then those fields that start to interact with the in, internal plasma fields, also within the bones, this is all taking place within the uh, within the bone network, yeah, and the, you're literally releasing more fields. That's what's actually happening. It's phenomenal. These, this, these are ways of actually triggering the body, triggering the soul to start releasing um, field elements of a superior nature. That is what is actually really happening. It's, 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 it's actually phenomenal. It really is phenomenal. You, we cannot put it into word. So here, again, we, we're using, uh, you see, number is denoting shape and form, right? So anything to do with that six is going to give us that sex, yeah, which which we're going to see with with our uh, within nature. We're always going to see that within nature, especially you see that within uh, the, the, the the chlorophyll. The chlorophyll is going to be uh, the six, yeah, and you, you can get it. You, you you can see that within its name, the double L's, the double L's. That's giving us the six. Uh, so that's that's telling us that with any light interaction, fill the fields become extremely excited by the fields that reside within the actual plant itself. And that's how and the plant is then gaining superior superior energy. If you speak to the plant, it will then be able to reconnect with you back in your uh, dreams. So when we think the plant is just stood there doing nothing, the plant is not stood there doing nothing. The plant is, a, is, a, is having fantastic astral experiences, is, is, is traveling, is doing all sorts, but yet it looks as though it's stuck in a fixed position because we reside within a total, um, with a, we reside within a, a paradoxical nature. So that is the reason um, why things, when we think from a very simple perspective, from a matter state, we can just look at a plant, look at a plant, and then actually just uh, go and literally just stand straight on it. Yeah, that's, that is how it, that, that, that works. So what I'm looking to do is to ex go through tethering because these these fields they retether us back to nature yeah through through feeling yeah and it is phenomenal and it's something i've been looking at for many years now anyway is the is the way that even when when it comes to to march when it comes to march you can feel it you can feel a, that 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 alteration within you you can feel even when you come to this period as i was saying yesterday you have the the uh, the lord of misrule so when you when you have something like the lord of misrule yeah uh when you've got that it's here so the lord of misrule 
This is the Lord of Misrule. In the spirit, in the spirit of Misrule. Because in, in the spirit of this season here, we are in the shadow. So when we come down, when we come down to here, yeah, and we have Sam Hain, right? Then you have a 190 degree portal opening, yeah, which we can see here, right? Yeah. And then on the 13th of November there, they have a swash sticker day. Because swash sticker day really is, is luck. But that's letting us know, yeah, of our of all of us, yeah, our true original um blueprint of life. Yeah. The true original blueprint of life. So so Aryans, six, seven foot Aryans that were in Egypt that were in Egypt across the east, travelled into Ireland and so on and so forth, coming from a centre point, right? And then that has all been has actually then been manipulated, but we can still see the links there, which I have on here as well. And so do other people, which is fantastic, which is actually uh, beautiful. Which, what, which, what we're doing and where we're where we're heading, and how this you cannot hide our true natural way of being because it is within the core of who we are. So we know our mother, and we understand we understand the magic that we reside within and the core of what we are and that's what this is about this is what this, this is attempted to do here so you see here when we come down here you have this lord of misrule so and in this period here now because of the, this feeling of scarcity when the fields move away they move away with the light of the sun yeah so then the, what with what i'm finding is what i found from my research is that what happens what's happening is is it's that that then that then allows then spirits to come in, yeah. It is an alteration. It pulls a lot of nature. This darkness is a, it make, makes that happen. So it's letting you know that that Hades, yeah, will is merging with you deliberately to let you kind of know that you you see this death, dead, dying down scenario D E, yeah which is a re recycling, but when you are not aware of what you are, subconsciously, collective consciousness, you, there is a sense of, probably there was a sense of dying around here. That's why you get this Henry the Eighth who had six wives. Eight plus six is 13, which is four. He's killing all his wives. Yeah, it's lack, you know, because of th these people, they're causing scarcity, but the cause and effect is phenomenal. You know, you're calling, you're, you're chopping people's heads off because you don't like them, Then and then, even when you go into finer details of things, you find that when they chop people's heads off, sometimes they don't do it properly. So they have to go back and do it again. He chopped off Oliver Cromwell's head like that, right? He's, he's his own friend, right? And then they, then they want to know why that you, you can't have children. Kids keep dying, dying when they're young, yeah? Because they, 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 their mindset is based in material um, scarcity because they, 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 they tethered, detached themselves from perfection. That is what is happening. So if you look at the, the Lord of Misrule, you would see here, in the spirit of Misrule identified by, by the grinning masks in the corners, medieval floor tiles from the Derby Black Friar shows a triumphant hunting hare mounted on a dog, right? Now, these four corners you can find on the Mercator map, yeah? It's is a true map, true, it's, it's a true map of the plane that we reside on right and so you can see this here from this 16th century look they split it into four and the lord of misrule here is associated with christ masses yeah now with christ masses really you're supposed to be fasting up until that 25th and then after that period that is when the festival should begin because the sun is stuck the sun is done so in that moment then we are supposed to mirror another mirror reflection but when you are when we have not tethered it is, we cannot do that because what we find with when you use something like this 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 plasma yeah before you eat this is why i'm saying as a mixer trough a pitcher plant a pitcher plant yeah is a mixer trough because it's and you you would even see it yeah with a venus fly trap the venus fly trap has got the six teeth right but you see they don't always eat they just do it every now and then. so many just a couple of flies a year this one catches them it makes them fall into its nectar yeah, but really, it's still it's still mostly surviving off the field, and you can see that from the way that it's said. Now, also here with this Greenwich Mean Time, it's four minutes out. It's four minutes out, which is which is phenomenal, right? Again, so you have to, you, the, the, you, and, and again, even with the Gregorian calendar, yeah, they have to take a year that's divisible by four, 
Yeah, and the, the Gregorian calendar was started by Gregory the Thirteenth, which is four. I could go straight. I've, even Charlemagne eight one four, which is thirteen. Yeah, had four. It's just I, phenomenal. I could just keep going and it will do. So tether is four. So it's telling you, you need to tether to her four. Right, quarter days, days, quarter days, ers. Yeah, so quarter days, days is dies, dies, dies. Dominici, which is the sun, the Lord. Yeah, which is the Lord. Right, which is the sun, which is the light of the sun. This is why it's the Lord, because then it will in bring those other fields that it, it has its sexual interaction with outside of this plane. It brings them in. Yeah, it brings them in like it, it is. It's, it's, it's almost like if you imagine it, it's, it's almost like it's bringing them in like a ray. Yeah, like a penis, which will then inject its light in. And this is why we like the phallic for 12 days around this period. This is why that is why that would be done in that yule so in these four quarter days so here you've got march the 25th the way the four quarter days work is like this the the way they did it we can see again they were working with the numerology so the way it would work is you would have march now march now march is five now march has five letters so it would be done on the 25th but around that time we have lady day see laid lady day and mother's day but this is the same time of ostara Ostara here, fertility. Yeah, it's why is it for fertility? Because it's this field is now gathering, gathering strength. It's increasing in its field strength. When the two fields interact, when that light re hits back, that sexual interaction takes place, and then that orgasm takes place, and the fragrance from the two of them creates the fields, and those fields reside within immortal perfection. Yeah, and that is what we are doing. This is what you what we have. You have the, the opportunity right now to gather, gather ether out of the air and it will eliminate all of... It's like you don't even need to wash really. Because you see like we say we don't wash because we know that this, this, this thing with this water is toxic. But when you use these fields, you don't need to wash. It shows you that even when you eat certain foods, when they're no good, you can feel the toxicity with, that was within them through the fields because it, it's taking away toxic radiation which is something that you can feel so here we have so march was is, is march on the 25th because march has five letters yeah then we have june then we had june it's the reason it's done in, in june because it's done on june the 24th because it has four letters but it's in the four that's the fourth house which is cancer anyway yeah so you see that then michael mass so september because September has nine letters, so it would be done on the 29th. Rod Stewart writes, had a song, yeah, had a song about um, going back to school on the 29th, because they used to, it, up until the 21st century, these four dates were key. Even now, they still have a British tax share, they kept it here, even though they moved you to Janus here, even though they moved it to January, yeah, which we got on a different board. So, and it would do that because Janice would be associated with um, with Jupiter, associated with the rituals um, that we're doing. And Janice, Janice also represents duality, which we got, we got on a different board. So now, now here, yeah, we also get the seven serpent because they would have four religious festivals three months apart, which is the same way. Yeah, which is exactly the same way. So we're going to have three zodiacs. We're going to have three zodiacal um, archetypal archons yeah yeah within each quarter that's giving us the seven so you have the seven interweaving here interweaving right on this ecliptic that's how that how, how, that, how that's gonna go so uh da, 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 so we've got you, you've got four dates here right uh and then you've got your two solstices and obviously you've got your equinoxes but rents and things so when people used to pay rents and leases it would be equated with these four dates and it's still in place now and I think they tried to hold on to this, but I think they, they, they tried to hold on to it and then they went with Scotland in the end. Yeah, but then you see with, with it being here in fire, yeah, which is giving you thermal heat, yeah, which is giving you IRs, which is giving you nines. The thermal heat just removes, it removes inflammation. Once it's removing inflammation, we're pretty much good to go, right? Yeah, so you're looking at 12 angles of light, 12 angles of light there, yeah, yeah. And then we, we move straight for that. That's the seven ray serpent, which I was just explaining, just, just explaining there. But PM, 
which is PM, which is Prime Meridian, will give you King, which is Master 11. So you can't get a Prime Meridian without Master 11, without that light, which is, our, which is the light of the Father, which is coming in from the Divine Duo. Yeah, the Scottish Redefine Act took place, took effect on June the 13th. Yeah, phenomenal, 1991. Yeah, so that there, yeah. Yeah, so, so you can see here, by taking us away from this, by taking us away from this, det detaches us and it detethers us. But when we are, when we raise in energy, we find that we become more sensitive. And that's the paradox. The When when we are in a matter state, a dense matter state, we're still ultra sensitive, but we're sensitive in a dysfunctional manner. Sensitive, if they see somebody drinking their urine or something like that, Oh God, no, that's wrong. You didn't. Yeah, anything to do with you know overly showing uh, showing uh, what they would consider to be of overly overly loving or overly happy or overly just do you know what I mean? Or if somebody has said something to them that they 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 they, they find as a criticism because of this constant not accepting one's um, shadow, right? Because of that, because of that creates this over, overly touchy scenario where people are frightened to say things in front of people because if they say certain things then, then others become they come become offended and upset and that is due to actually down to a lack of energy that's what that where that comes from and where that where that where, that, where the pitfalls are with that so you got your 12 12 musical actives which is your 12 which is the eagle so the eagle is the 12 right we'll see everything she's jupiter again and the seven ray serpent yeah and the 12 and the 7 will give you one. Take you straight back to the straight back to one. The 12, the 7 and the 12 will take you back to one, which is spirit. She's telling you that the spirit is the one at the beginning. She's always the first. So then here you see you, you have planetary hours. Yeah. So there's your ETs. You've got, you got ETs in her, in her Taurus. Same as you've got ETs, ETs in her Taurus. Yeah. It's the same way that you have, they, you, they call it a planet. Plan, planet. Yeah. Plane ET. Right. PLs, PLs is your sevens and your threes. Your sevens and your threes are interchangeable. Your sevens and your threes are interchangeable, yeah. And your sevens and your threes, you got your seven race certain, but you got your three in your in your heart, and the two of them need to be connected, yeah. Wisdom and love is the two of the is the two of the three, but that three will give you that that three is going to give you that pyramid, which is going to give you that spiritual vector, yeah. So here we we have more tethering because you see you have a planetary hours. Now when you have a planetary hours. There are those on the flip side of that who recognize this. So what they do on the 22nd is they start an occult season of sacrifice. And then on the 13th of April, that's a marker point. And then they, they go to, and then we go to Valpurgis night on the 30th. Valpurgis night on the, Valpurgis night on the 30th to do with spirits again. It's another portal opening at 288. Two, eight, eight. Yeah, 288, eight, which is nine. And then that gives you Beltane, which now, because the phallic is creating so much light, we can now get the, the children will dance around a phallic. Yeah, originally it's going to be white and red. White and red is going to denote, which is going to denote uh, the, the blood, the blood, uh, premenstrual blood, and also semen. The two of those uh, together, and that's what they how how they would have how they would have operated. And then you would have had a stara here. Now planetary hours. Yeah, your planetary your planetary hours. That I've gotten here. I took them from. This is from the twenty second of January, right? Now, if you, it's based on it's the Chaldean, this Chaldean system here, right? What's it's based on? So the Chaldeans used to travel around, and it's the same as the. the and they would come and they would give leave their teachings with um with with people, and it's the same as also that the seven sages. There were seven gods, yeah, that came out of the seas, right? The gods that came out of the seas was the Enki, the, the connected with wisdom, right? They came out of the seas and they, they taught, taught man. They taught us, right? And that used to keep happening. These were serpent people. They were, serp they were known as serpent people because they wore different clothes, they spoke a different language, and they acted in a certain completely different, completely different manner. But they came and they enlightened the, the beings, the unenlightened beings that were there that had no light yet. So because the further that you move away from that core center, the less light that there is, and that's why over history there's always there was always talk of um, beings coming from out of the water, yeah. Uh, that look people that look different from them with great supreme stature, with glowing mag, mag, glowing fields of magnetism. These were serpent people. We were su su supremely advanced beings. Why supremely advanced beings? Because they're working directly with the ether, with magnetism, uh, and they 
not been de not been de detached from um, the realm. So that's that's how it worked. So the Chaldeans brought this brought that brought this system to us here with the planets, right? They so they brought these seven demigod this 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 arc this this system around us, right? So these these uh, seven demigod system here um, works, and it works just like how it works with how.